Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love for us and uh, for drawing us out of the, the world, though in the world, but not of the world, and drawing us to yourself, to be your children, para maging yung mga anak. We know that from the beginning, this was your plan for us, that we may belong to you as your people. And that throughout history, you have always pursued humanity to bring them back to you. So thank you for your plan. Thank you for your love that surpasses knowledge. May we always feel your presence in our lives through joys and sorrows. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So nasa Genesis pa rin po tayo and we'll be talking about the Sabbath today. Meron daw Pilipinong turista nagpunta sa Rome, Pinay. Sinwerte siya na makakuha ng appointment doon sa Pope. So naka pasok siya doon sa office mismo ng Pope and pagpasok niya nakakita siya ng dalawang telepono doon sa desk ng Pope. Isang pula at isang puti. Sabi niya sa Pope, Your Holiness, para saan po itong pulang telepono? Sabi ng Pope, ayan yung gamit ko para tawagan yung mga cardinals. Sabi nung, eh yan naman pong puti, sabi nung Pinay. Ah, yung slide nga na din. Ayan yung turistang Pinay. Nasa Rome, yan, yung sa Basilica, St. Peter's. May dala pa siyang flag. Pag pumunta kayo, sa Rome, huwag niyong kalimutan magdala ng flag ng Pilipinas. So, tinanong niya yung Pope, eh sino naman po yung, ay para saan naman po yung puti na phone? Sabi ng Pope, ay yan ang ginagamit ko pag tinatawagan ko si God. Ah, ganun po ba? Sabi ng Pope, oh, gusto mo, tawagan mo. Oh, tinawagan niya, ginamit niya yung phone, tapos tinawagan niya, nag-usap sila ni God. Sabi niya, wow, ang galing pala, may phone kayo kay God. Sabi ng Pope, for that call, I have to charge you uh, $250. Sabi Sabi niya, mahal. Pero di bali, nakausap ko naman si God, sabi niya. Tapos, nag-tour ulit siya, nagpunta naman siya sa Israel. And sinerte rin siya, maka, nagkaroon siya ng appointment sa Prime Minister ng Israel naman. Pagpasok niya sa office ng Prime Minister, dun sa desk ng Prime Minister, meron ding dalawang telepono, no? isang pula, isang buti. Tinanong niya yung Prime Minister, Sir, Prime Minister, para saan po yung pulang phone? Iyan yung gamit ko, sabi niya, para tawagan yung mga cabinet secretaries. Eh, yung pong puti. Ay, yan yung gamit ko pag tinatawagan ko si God. Gusto mo ba kausapin si God? Ay, opo, gusto ko po. So, tinawagan niya. Sabi niya, wow, ang galing. May phone pala kayo, direct line to God. Sabi ng Prime Minister, for that call, I have to charge you 25 cents. Sabi niya, wow, ang mura naman, 25 cents. Samantala dun sa Pope, 250 dollars. Nung nagpunta ako sa Rome, sabi niya. Sabi nung Prime Minister, eh kasi nung nandun ka sa Rome, yung tawag mo sa God, long distance. Dito sa Israel, yung tawag mo, local call lang. <laughs> local local <laughs> lang. Diba? Kaya mas mura. Diba? Uh, I believe that in every human being, lahat tayo, we desire to connect with God. We, we want to know God. We want to reach Him and know Him. But uh, for some, maybe this need is, they don't feel it. Hindi nila aram naman. It's hidden for them. For some, maybe they deny it. Di namin kailangan ng God. We have everything we need. Pero God Himself is the one reaching out to us. Siya mismo yung gustong mag-connect sa atin. Siya mismo yung naggagawa ng paraan, the time and the place and the means para we can connect with Him, para makilala natin siya. And today we are going to talk about the Sabbath as the place, the time, the means where in, in the beginning God made so that we may connect with Him. No? So ang, ang title po na, ng <clears throat> message natin, The Sabbath a rest of love freely given. 
a rest of love freely given. Sabi sa Genesis chapter 2, By the seventh day, God had finished the work He had done. He had been doing. So on the seventh day, He rested from all His work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, He rested from all the work of creating that He had done. Before we proceed, I would just like to say na yung creation story ng Genesis is something we cannot read literally. Kailangan basahin natin na yung day doon, talagang day, isang araw, 24 hours. Because if we interpret the Genesis creation story literally, it will fail in so many aspects. No? It's not a textbook. It is a theological work. It points to God. It points to the a purpose of why God created human beings. Maybe the original author could have meant it to be literally, you know, to be read literally. Pero alam natin na God inspires people to write or prophesy something that kahit sila mismo hindi nila maintindihan at that moment. When God Tinawag niya si John the Baptist. Hindi niya makilala si Jesus Christ. Ikaw ba talaga yung pinadala? Although, uh, nag-preach siya tungkol kay Jesus Christ. Because akala niya, Jesus came for judgment already. Sabi ni John the Baptist, sa Israelites, mga Israelites, the axe is already at the root of the tree. Yan yung akala niyang ministry ng, ng Messiah. And also, si Kayapas nag-prophesy siya. Sabi ni John, don't you know that it is better for one man to perish than for the whole nation to be destroyed? Sabi ni ang writer ng John Gospel, hindi niya alam na nagpa-prophesy siya tungkol kay Jesus Christ. So, God inspires people to write some things that sometimes they themselves don't truly understand. Pero that message, may meaning yun sa time nila. Meron yun na purpose para sa kanila at the time. So going back to the Sabbath, a day of rest, are we too busy? Kulang ba tayo lagi sa tulog? Too stretched out na ba tayo? Yung... Sometimes din natin sinasadya. It's not by design. It just so happens. Puno ba yung calendar natin palagi? Pero hindi natin ma... <laughs> mapuntahan lahat. Maraming deadlines din natin matapos at marami mga plano na hindi nagagawa. Or siguro, are you bored with your life? Ang daming oras sa iyong mga kamay. Wala kang ibang, wala tayong ibang ginagawa mag-surf sa internet. Caught up in our gadgets, phones, and laptops making a very busy making a virtual life. Doon tayo nabubuhay. Or some are we feeling depressed or sad? Like, parang wala nang magandang mangyayari sa buhay. Parang lahat ng bagay is filled with darkness. And the only future na nakikita natin ay puno ng gloom and, and sadness. Now, if we go back to the story of creation, it gives a foundation for our lives. It is 24 hours that God has set apart para He can uh, have us for Himself. It's 24 hours that God has set apart so that He can have us for Himself. Ang humanity, pag binasa natin yung creation, diba? day one, day two, God created all these things. And on the sixth day, He creates man in His image that tells us that man is the climax of God's creation. Ito yung pinakamaganda kinawa ng God. We are God's best creation. Ginawa sa likeness niya, ginawa to reign with Him over the earth as He does, created to have a very special relationship with God. A very intimate relationship with Him. And after creation, God sets apart a specific time for humans to connect with Him. It's a time of joy, a time of delight, a time of love. 24 hours He can have us for Himself. 
Genesis 2, verses 2 to 3, babasahin ko ulit. By the seventh day, God had finished the work He had been doing. So on the seventh day, He rested from all His work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because on it, He rested from all the work of creating that He had done. Nagpahinga ba yung Diyos dahil kailangan niya ng pahinga? Napagod ba siya sa paggawa ng creation? Of course, we know God. <laughs> Hindi napapagod ang Diyos. So He did not rest because He was tired. Did God really stop working on the Sabbath? Of course not. God keeps on watching over us. 24 hours, 24-7. He's sustaining the whole universe. Alam nito mga Jewish teachers in the day of Jesus Christ. Alam nila that God is always working. Kaya nung tinanong nila si Christ, ba't ka nagtatrabaho sa Sabbath day? Sabi ni Christ, my father is always working on the Sabbath day. Psalm 121 verse 4. Sabi dito, Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. God who watches us doesn't take a nap. He doesn't need to take a nap. Hindi niya kailangan matulog. Tayo, kailangan natin matulog. But God doesn't. So what is this rest about? Well, like I said, according to Sky Kidner, sa commentary niya sa Genesis, it is the rest of achievement, not inactivity. For He nurtures what He creates. God did not rest para dahil napagod siya. But He rests to take a look at what He had done. To admire what He has done. To nurture what He has created. Ibig sabihin, nag-celebrate ang God in the first Sabbath day. Parang isang painter na pagkatapos mo gumawa ng painting, you, you look at it and you admire what you have done. Or isang sculptor, or isang music writer, pagkatapos mo magawa yung music, papahinga mo. That is what God did on His first Sabbath. And the greatest thing na inadmire niya is of course the greatest thing He created. Human beings. Yung tao. That's what He was admiring the most during the first Sabbath. Imagine that God looks at us. at me, at you, and admires us. He actually admires and delights in us. Maybe you think, oh, hindi ako worthy, hindi ako karapat-dapat. Uh, lalo na, you had, a, you had just come from a broken relationship. Or feeling mo, hindi ka karapat, uh, parang feeling mo, Worthless ka as a person kasi iniwanan ka or hindi ka pinansin. But look at God and He admires you. He's the one who delights in you all the time. Whatever is in us natakala natin di maganda or makes us unworthy with God that is He loves every part of us. Ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, Mark 2.27, The Sabbath was made for man. The Sabbath was made for us. It was made for our enjoyment para ma-enjoy natin ang God. It was made for our refreshment para manumbalik yung lakas natin. It is, was made for our peace and for our safety. Sabi sa Jewish Mincha, the rest of God, dito nang galing yung subtitle ko ng message, The rest of God is a rest of love freely given. A rest of truth and sincerity. A rest in peace and tranquility, in quietude and safety. That's God's rest. Sa tinagalog ko po yan, Ang kapahingahan ng Diyos, ay pahinga ng pag-ibig na malayang inialay. 
pahinga ng katotohanan at katapatan, pahinga ng kapayapaan at kapanatagan, pahinga ng katahimikan at kaligtasan. That is God's rest for us. In Exodus 23 verse 12, the Sabbath is thought to be for freedom and social justice. It is love even for the least in our society. Exodus 23 verse 12. Six days do your work, but on the seventh day do not work. So that, ito yung rason, so that your ox and your donkey may rest. And so that the slave born in your household and the foreigner living among you may be refreshed. In our modern language, foreigner is a migrant or an immigrant. So, sino yung sabi ng God na dapat bigyan ng rest? Yung animals, yung slaves, and the migrants. Yung mga powerless sa society. By their own, by themselves, they don't have the power na ako magpapahinga ko ngayon. Kasi may boss sila eh. Huwag ka mag... Habang nagpapahinga ka, magwalis-walis ka naman dyan. Diba ganun marinig mo sa mga ano? Uh, habang... Ganon, ganon ang mga, mga boss eh. Huh? The Sabbath command was given sa mga landowners para bigyan nila ng pahinga yung mga tao at hayop na by themselves have no power to procure rest. And so, the Sabbath is a symbol of freedom and social justice. And this means for us, na tayo, we are the conduits of God's rest for those the least in our society. Tayo yung ginagamit ng God to offer rest. Physical, emotional, spiritual to those who need it. To those who by themselves cannot get it and have no power. In the New Testament, the Sabbath is a symbol of our salvation. Huh? Ang Sabbath ang picture ng future natin with God. It tells us na we are not simply saved that para iligtas mula sa impyerno. Huh? Para hindi ka sunugin doon habang panahon. Which we don't believe. No, hindi tayo niligtas lang ng God from punishment. The Sabbath tells us that Salvation is a relationship. It's a relationship with a God who completely loves. Who loves completely. Right? Kung naalala nyo yung uh, sermon ni Kathy Dedo sa sermon, nung hinugasan ni Christ yung pa ng mga disciples niya, sabi ni John, He loved them to completion. So, that is God that is our God. He loves us. And He loves us completely. So God saves us so we can have a beautiful and intimate relationship with Him. Na puno ng joy and love and delight for all eternity. I think sabi sa Hebrews chapter 4, verse 4 to 9. For somewhere, He has spoken, God has spoken about the seventh day in these words. On the seventh day, God rested from all his works. And again, in the passage above, he says, They shall never enter my rest. Therefore, since it still remains for some to enter that rest, and since those who formerly had the good news proclaimed to them did not go in because of their disobedience, God again set a certain day, calling it today. So, yung author ng Hebrews was talking about yung mga Israelites in the wilderness. God had saved them. Binigay na ng God sa kanila lahat. Papapasukin pa sila sa Canaan. Sabi ng God, you will have houses you did not build. Vineyards you did not plant. Wells you did not dig. Yun yung bibigay ng God sa kanila. Pero gusto nila bumalik sa Egypt. So, God has another rest for His people. Sabi niya, verse 8, for, for if Joshua had given them rest, yung mga Israelites na nakapasok, God would not have spoken later about another day. 
there remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. So the Sabbath, God's rest, is a picture of our future with God. Of our future rest. Kagaya ng binasa natin sa Revelations last week. I see a new heavens and a new earth coming down from heaven, the holy city, Jerusalem. And God will dwell with, pe with the people and they shall be his people and he shall be their God. The writer speaks of the time when God will bring down heaven and live among us. And also this present time that God can live through us, in us, through the Holy Spirit. Kasi sabi niya later, those of us who believe have entered that rest. So it is now also. The Sabbath also point to Jesus Christ. The Sabbath points to Jesus. And this is a very important point. Because Si Jesus ang ating tunay na pahinga. Jesus is our true rest he, or resting place. The Hebrew word for rest actually is menucha. It's rest or resting place. Sabi ni Mark sa, sabi ni Jesus sa Mark, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Yung kin kinote natin kanina. The Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Jesus is the center of the Sabbath. Sa kanya nakaturo yung Sabbath. True rest, yung true rest natin, yung tunay na pahinga natin, mahanap lang natin in a personal and intimate relationship with Jesus. His, yung presence niya sa life natin, that is the source of our true rest. His person is our means to true quietness and safety, katahimikan at kaligtasan. In Matthew 11, 28 to 30, ito yung sinabi niya sa atin, Come to me. See, the Sabbath is not period of time. It is a person. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Are you tired? Are you feeling helpless? Parang nalulunod na tayo sa nangyayari sa life natin. So work, relationships, family. Jesus calls us. Come to me. Come to me and I will give you rest. True rest can only be found in a personal and intimate relationship with Jesus. The Sabbath points us to fellowship with Jesus. It's a time for refreshment, a time for celebration of the freedom that he offers. How do we celebrate the Sabbath? Uh, I think din discuss na ito ni Kuya Ray, so I would just like to go back yung tungkol sa Sabbath. How do we, ito yung components ng Sabbath according to sa book ni Peter Iskazero. Actually, the Hebrew word Sabbath comes from the Hebrew verb Shabbat. It means to stop. Kaya kung translate mo literally ito, to stop. So, number one, component ng Sabbath, stop. Paano nyo ba yung, sabi, di na natin pag-usapan, yun yung isang, stop. Just, just stop. Yung isip ba natin, takbo ng takbo, di na tayo nakakapahinga, dami nagsasabi sa, sa atin, on, di ka, di ka maganda, 
uh, hindi mo kaya yan. Wala kang, walang mangyayari dyan. Just stop. Sabbath days for stopping our work. Sometimes we feel na, di, hindi ako pwede huminto eh. Hindi ko, hindi ko pwede ito tigilan hanggat hindi tapos. Pero kay, we need to stop sometimes. Kahit hindi pa tapos. Because, you know, when we stop, inaamin natin yung limitations natin. When we stop, inaamin natin yung hanggang kaya lang natin. We need to learn to embrace yung limits natin. Huwag po natin sagarin yung kaya natin. Embrace your limits. It is freeing. Siguro takot tayo, baka pag huminto ako, maiiwanan ako. Mapunta sa iba yung, uh, yung promotion. Mapunta sa iba yung ganito. On the Sabbath, we embrace our limits and we let God be God in our lives. He is the one in control. God is indispensable. Tayo, we are not. We are His creation. The world will be just fine if we rest for 24 hours. Rest. Number two, rest. No? Psalm 116 verse 17 tells us, God is our true rest or true resting place. Psalm 116 verse 7, Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Si God yung rest natin. He is the one that will give us bounty. Siya yung resting place natin. So anong gagawin natin, anong ipapalit natin sa uh, 24 hours na pahinga natin kung hindi tayo mag cellphone, Facebook, trabaho, uh, mag-aral. Whatever delights you and replenishes you, sabi ni Peter Scazzero. Ano man na nagpapasaya sa'yo? O nagbibigay ng lakas ulit sa'yo? Ano bang blessing na binigay ni Lord sa'yo? Rejoice in it. Kailangan mo matulog? Nap. Take a nap. Kailangan mo mag-exercise? Work out. Take a walk. Read a novel. Boom. Yung, and other stories ni uh, Professor Percy. Watch a good movie. Korean, uh, wag tayo mag, ano, mag uh, pwede mga isa, dalawa lang, wag natin buong 14 hours manood ng Korean. Nasubukan ko na po yan. 14 hours na pinanood namin yung Jumong. <laughs> na, kahit mali-mali na yung translations, tinatag, tinatagyan ba namin. What is your matter? <laughs> so, anything that delights us, you do it on the Sabbath. Because God designed the Sabbath for our enjoyment. That's, that's the point in number three. Delight. Ito yung number three component ng Sabbath. God delighted in His creation. He delighted in man during that first 24-hour days. He set apart for himself. The Hebrew word is Kadesh. Vay Kadesh. And he sanctified it. I mean, he set it apart for himself. 24 hours just to delight in Adam and Eve. 24 hours God delights in us. So delight in God's creation. Delight in people. Delight in play. Delight on food, music, in dance. Creation and life is God's gift of a playground for us. Life is a playground to us. It's God's gift. And number four, contemplate. You know? One very important component of the Sabbath is the scripture. Contemplate ponder on God's, yung pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. This love that surpasses knowledge, this unfathomable love is the central focus of the Sabbath. Soak ourselves. You know, listen to beautiful songs. 
God is a good, good father. Listen to that song. Contemplate on the Sabbath that it is a picture ng future ng God for us. Full of joy, full of love, and rest from our work. Delight in God. So those are the four components ng Sabbath. Sabi ni Peter Escazero. So how do we celebrate the Sabbath? If you remember, dun sa book na ginamit natin, Good and Beautiful Life, ito yung suggestion ni Brian Smith. Plan your rest. Plan the Sabbath. Plan the 24 hours. Ano yung gagawin natin? Ano yung kakainin natin? Importante yun, yung kakainin. Huwag niyong kalimutan. Hindi <laughs> masaya pag walang pagkain. Start in the evening with a special meal with your family. Ito yung suggestion niya. Oh. Wag, wag na kayong lumabas kasi matraffic. Ma-stress ka lang sa traffic. Wag mag, doon na lang sa bahay. Magpa-deliver kayo. 159 isang uh, pizza. Uh, mahal ba? Mas mahal nga yung sa Santino eh. So, play games. Play games with your family, with your loved ones, with your friends. Eat, eat great food that you love. Paminsan-minsan, yung lechon. <laughs> Baka. Eat, eat great food. Enjoy na. Go to church together. Nap. Importante yan. Matulog. And set aside some time for private prayer. Read a good book or a devotional. Maybe you can dagdagan natin yung blessing natin. When we are in the midst of a difficult time, it's easy to lose sight ng mga blessing ng God sa atin. I-lista natin. In conclusion, punta natin yung Song of Songs, chapter 2, verse 10. Now, this is a, a love dialogue between two people dun sa bride and then sa groom and then sabi ng groom dun sa bride Ay sabi ng bride pala sabi na my beloved spoke and said to me arise my darling my beautiful one come with me I believe that God's spirit calls to our spirit. And he's, this is what he's saying. Arise, my darling, my beautiful one. Come with me. The spirit talks to our spirit. And it's the voice that whispers to us to observe and keep this 24-hour rest of love that is freely given. The sweet voice of God. Our God is a good, good Father. He is pleased with us. He delights in us. He actually wants to just hang out. Tambay lang, kasama natin. For 24 hours, just to admire us, to delight with us, to rejoice with us, just to love us. And God calls us para lumapit sa Kanya, draw near the Sabbath, if we observe it, our relationship with God ay lalong lalago, yayabong at lalalim. It's, our relationship with God is the most amazing and most wonderful relationship ever. So observe and keep the Sabbath. A 24-hour period it, it could be any day. Hindi kailangan talagang Friday night. Ano. Kung lunes ang of duty kayo or Tuesday or Wednesday. Take time out to rejoice in the Sabbath. It's a love. Rest of a love that is freely given. Sabi ng mga Jews, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, well, let's uh, continue with our worship.